Today I've got something very special for you, how to connect your Squarespace website to your domain name registrar. Plus I have decided to share a little part of my module 4 with you, which is from my uh, online course Easy Peasy Website Creations. I want to share that with you and show you how to click by click how to connect your Squarespace account to your custom domain name, so to your register to your domain name register so let's do it i want to show it to you right now my name is kerstin beckley i am a word shaker and a squarespace website creation coach and it is my mission to empower you enable you and help you to create your very own squarespace website click by click because you can do it yourself you don't have to pay a website designer every time you want to make a change you can save that money and put it into something else okay let's do it how to connect your your Squarespace website to your domain name registrar. When you create a Squarespace account, you have an email address that is associated with your account when you log in. So if I clicked on get started here and chose my template, you can always preview the templates at any time. You can change the templates at any time without losing your content. I have another module there where I explain that. So if I say I would like to use the Brian template, in this case, I want to create a new website, which is the course website, and I would like to use Brian. I'm going to preview it here because I like the parallax effect, like the way the picture moves and adds a bit of depth into it. And I want to start with this design. So now I would normally have to log in, create an account with my email address, but I already have created an account. So what I do is it comes up, welcome to your new Squarespace site because I'm already logged in. If I wasn't logged in or if I didn't have an email address, linked to my Squarespace account, you would get a pop-up window that says enter your email address and your name. So I'm going to start here and you have to answer a few questions what the website will be about. So in this case, it's going to be my easy peasy website creation course. So I am going to click education, meaning training, but they don't have training. So I'm clicking education, click next. And then I click maybe blog or regularly publish content and maybe sell services online. So I'm going to go next and that way Squarespace knows um, how to help me get my website out there. So it's a business organi organization and next and the title of my site is easy peasy website creations. I'm just checking if they maybe mean the website. Please fill in a title for your website. No, it's just the title or the name. Easy peasy website creations and done. So now this is the website. And now in order to connect it with my domain registrar, what I do is I go into settings, I go into domains. And here I wanted to show you, if you click here, there is a um, URL that has the word Squarespace in it. You can change that and customize this. For example, sometimes it always has your first and your last name, but sometimes it also has a number here or something like this. So, but you can rename it. So you just delete the number and then you click save. In my case, it was already the name that it was. So it doesn't give me the option to save the new name. So if it was like this, I would just click rename and then it would rename it. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. That's, the little, that's, that's just a little quick side note. And you will also receive a welcome email from Squarespace. Thank you for signing up to Squarespace. So I am going to use a domain I own, but you can also get a domain from Squarespace and check if it is available. If you haven't purchased it yet with GoDaddy or any other domain name registers, regis registers. That's a hard word. Okay, in my case, I have already purchased easy peasy website creations.com. Easy peasy website creations.com. Continue. 
and then I am waiting for Squarespace to create the DNS. Transfer to Squarespace? No, I don't want that. I want to connect from provider. So I click this and then I click connect domain. But first I'm going to check if I have Panther here because I am registered with Panther because that he's, they are Australian and they have live chat, but you don't have to. So if you, depending on wherever you bought your domain, usually it's GoDaddy because they are huge, but it doesn't have to be. So mine isn't here, Panther isn't here. So I'm going to go other connect domain, connecting in progress. Easy peasy website creations is connecting to your site. Continue to set up your DNS records. Okay. And then this appears. So what I do now is I am just going to copy all of these. Control copy. And now I am going to find the email address of Panther. So let's say this is the email address or the email body. I would then paste it into the email body and send this to my to Panther to my domain name register. And I say, can you please connect my DNS to squares base my domain name BNS to Squarespace. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So you go back here and as they are doing it, it'll take about 24 hours unless you have live chat. It, it takes literally three minutes if you do it with live chat, which you can do with GoDaddy because I did it. That's why I know. And then this will turn green, corrected, and it will say corrected and it will turn green. And that's it. It's done. If, as you click refresh, it will be done really quickly. In this case, it's not because I'm not actually doing it right now. But that is all there is to it, to connect your Squarespace website to your customized domain name. See, told you it was going to be easy peasy. Um, if you would like to set up your website from scratch, I have also created an email tutorial. It's free if you want to grab it below. The link is below this video of how to set up your Squarespace website. It also includes the step how to switch from your WordPress website to Squarespace um, the right way. So um, grab it while you can. Um, it's below this video, so I linked it up there. So uh, apart from that, join my free Facebook community as well. That's where I hang out and answer a lot of questions of Squarespace newbies or questions that Squarespace newbies have when setting up their site or when, when making changes and things like that. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the little bell beside the subscribe button to get notified for all the new videos I am planning to upload every Friday. So, um, yeah, happy Squarespacing and remember, have fun with the creation process. Website creation is all about fun.